Is a love of tradition and a fear of change stifling evolution and creativity in AFL Guernseys? I'm starting to think it is, and some teams clearly seem to feel the need to play it safe. Two of the big offenders in this case would have to be Carlton and Essendon, two teams whose love for their traditions has held their Guernseys back in recent seasons. You see, when it comes to home jumpers, Carlton and Essendon have two iconic and strong looking designs, but their clash Guernseys have been some of the weaker designs in the league. In Carlton's case, a simple inverse white jumper with a navy monogram looks fine and works perfectly, but over the years they've felt the need to make unnecessary changes and additions. Whether that's adding random patches of navy, changing the white to grey, or the worst of all, making the monogram white on an already white jumper. Now I don't know exactly why they made this change, but I feel it has something to do with their love of their home jumper, and the tradition of them having a white monogram. And as we've seen with their refusal to wear their clash jumper in certain matchups, it seems pretty clear clear that Carlton wouldn't wear anything other than their traditional jumper if it was up to them. Their 2024 clash is a step in the right direction, but their insistence on having the monogram in the same place on both their Guernseys means that this new top panel doesn't look right. Meanwhile, Essendon finally gave in and started wearing a red clash jumper after many years of awkward half measures. But a weird rule in their club constitution that says Essendon jumpers must have a red sash has led to them ignoring the obvious best option of a red jumper with a black sash, and instead have these weird red on red designs that started out okay but progressively got worse. Much like Carlton, Essendon's 2024 clash is a step in the right direction, but again, the need for a red sash just seems to be an unnecessary addition. It also seems like this is an issue that's not just limited to these two teams. Across the league we're seeing teams continuing to play it safe and not take any risks. Hawthorne used to be a team that had a variety of creative options when it came to their clash jumpers. They really threw traditional designs out the window and embraced some modern ideas. But much like how Batman and Robin was so bad it nearly killed the Batman movie franchise, Hawthorne's 2015 Power Ranger Guernsey may have been so bad that it not only killed the Hawks' creativity, but it may have scared off a number of other teams from taking creative risks as well. With more teams jumping on the recent retro round trend, we've been reminded of some out there designs from the 90s and 2000s, and it really makes you realise how basic modern designs have become. While I love to see the Saints bringing back the Crusaders jumper, or this 90s Adelaide design making a return, we're not really seeing new creative designs that 20 or 30 years from now teams will revisit. On the other hand, you could argue that you don't need to reinvent the wheel if a team has already got a perfect set of Guernseys. But I know I can say as a Frio supporter that if it wasn't for things like Retro Round and Gather Round, we wouldn't have had much variety since the Chevrons era began over 10 years ago. And that's even more true for teams like Carlton and Essendon, who have basically worn the same two or so Guernseys for most of their history. It's fair to say these two teams could use some fresh ideas.